I don't know why, but lately I've just been stumbling upon a, a lot of hidden gems, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, you have McKinney Family Home Videos, Joaquin Bonk, and now, uh, well, someone else that I don't really see getting a lot of recognition at all. Uh, the creator we're going to be discussing today is none other than EXP Goat, and as a matter of fact, they have uh, tons of unsettling nightmare fuel all across their channel. Uh, sadly, most of their videos are in Spanish, which means that, you know, well, I don't know enough Spanish to really do it uh, justice to be quite frank with you. Uh, so I invite you all to go and please check out their creations by clicking the link down in the description below, um, especially um, any Spanish speakers out there that can get a, a better grasp on what's going on here. Uh, but for now, I, I really wanna focus on one video in particular called Alice in Dreams. I'm about to butcher the hell out of this sentence. So, Mother Mary, Christ himself, and the Holy Spirit, please forgive me, amen. The phrase, la paciente fui aprobada para hacerle una lobotomía, roughly translates to, the patient was approved for the lobotomy. Ugh, fuck, shit. Uh, the video begins with, uh, presumably, Alice finding a hole in the woods, and uh, who in their right mind would ever, uh, pass up a convenient hole in the woods. I sure wouldn't, you gotta take advantage of that shit. Alice Cha-Cha slides down the hole where she conveniently discovers that she was carrying a party city mask around with her the entire time. A clock can be heard ticking in the background and we can see none other than the infamous Alice in Wonderland character, Roger Rabbit. Roger hippity hops his way down a sketchy alleyway and Alice decides to follow after him. All the while, there's extremely unsettling uh, music and sound effects that play throughout this video, and I, well, I don't really know how to describe it, so I, I'm just gonna play a brief clip so you can kind of get a feel for the vibe. giving us time to process Alice's brilliant decision, this slide appears on the screen accompanied by total silence. If you guys don't know, this uh, picture here depicts a bygone medical procedure known as a lobotomy. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with this though, let me explain. Uh, this medical procedure was widely popularized around the 1940s and was performed all the way up until the 1960s, until it was of course eventually banned. Um, this was typically performed on uh, mentally ill individuals as a way of addressing what was considered at the time to be uh, maladaptive behaviors. Um, unsurprisingly, after literally piercing the patient's brain through their eye socket, uh, they were known to become abnormally uh, calm, catatonic, and withdrawn afterwards. Uh, so in other words, they completely wiped out any trace of a personality that was once left in there. Um, even more unsurprisingly, this procedure was performed on women about 60% of the time uh, and was used as a means of silencing women that were often seen as too vocal, emotional, or argumentative. Now that we're all brought up to speed on what a lobotomy is, uh, well, let's see what happens to the person depicted in the diagram. I guess this is a video about a lobotomy after all, huh? Now the thing that really gets me about this video is that there are almost no loud jump scares at all. Just really uncomfortable piano effects and long periods of silence. Like this part here where she's just staring vacantly into the camera. It, it invokes a sense of awareness and sentience that I fucking hate. 
that and I also hate eye contact. Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, this weird circus scene happens and she's clapping. She's so happy, having a good time, but uh-oh. Oh no. More eye contact. Gulp. Uh, never mind. Uh, she, she just fucking ascends and now she's trapped in Celebration Florida of all places. Yikes. She better get out of there quick. Just when you think things are getting funky though, uh, this happens, revealing the, uh, well, horrible truth of the situation. I'm not falling into a void. Why do I have to swallow these pills and I'm not crazy? Now, I know we crack jokes and all quite often on this channel, probably more often than we should, to be quite honest with you. Um, but this part is genuinely quite heartbreaking, as this is something that I'm, I'm certain a lot of uh, women and uh, former patients during this time period uh, well, we're feeling during and after the lobotomy, of course, kind of an unsettling glimpse into a long forgotten past, if I'm being quite honest. Well, anyways, if she wasn't falling into the void before, she certainly is now. Here she is greeted by the distorted smiling face of the Cheshire Cat, along with his manic laughter. His face suddenly becomes even more twisted, almost like it's being torn apart. Now, this part here, I. I, I'm sorry, I genuinely don't know what the fuck this is or what it is trying to convey. I, I sat here for 30 seconds trying to process this and I, I it's not computing. I, I guess it's just some Staples employee cosplaying as a caterpillar or something and then, you know, he does a weird little dance with his, with his little hands, you know, he, he's voguing. Now, this is where it gets really spooky, guys, okay? So bear with me here, hold on. Uh, this part takes place in total silence, and again, there are no jump scares or anything. But here we can see Alice's face slowly getting slid off, revealing a fleshy nightmare underneath, and then it just gets put back on, and she is seemingly back to normal but only on the surface. The last character we see here is the Queen of Hearts, and her design is, is absolutely horrific. I mean, I mean, Jesus Christ, she's a literal sentient heart. I, I think those are little flippers for feet down there. It's, it's disgusting, ew. She gives us a nice toothy grin right before Alice suddenly wakes up in a hospital bed her face completely empty and seemingly devoid of life. Now, it goes without saying that yes, spoiler alert, um, this whole video is about a girl represented by Alice from Alice in Wonderland that undergoes a lobotomy. Uh, this whole dream sequence that we're seeing here is a representation of her descent into a catatonic state. But what can we learn from its symbolism? I really want to touch on how throughout the video, Alice is portrayed as a very uh, dead-eyed, almost completely emotionless character. Uh, call her old fish eyes, if you will. Uh, this is especially enhanced in the final scene where she wakes up in a dark uh, hospital room without any shred of emotion left on her face. Now, there's also the scene where she first runs into the hair you know, down in that woodland crevice, of course. Notice how she is wearing a matching rabbit mask, almost implying that uh, she and the rabbit are one and the same. To me, I think this symbolizes how she too was almost out of time, in a sense. This dream sequence would probably be her final memory as a fully functioning person. And then there's also a fourth wall break, I believe, that happens when Alice arrives at this circus scenario. It's almost like these characters were trying to warn her of her impending doom when they ab abruptly stopped everything and just kind of stared into her soul for a hot minute, right? They were giving her shade, if you will. Um, and there's also a great deal that can be said about the Cheshire cat scene. Uh, the only thing I can think of when it comes to that is the fact that uh, his own face being ripped apart is 
representative of Alice's own mutilation via lobotomy. Uh, this point is further driven home when her face is removed for a brief moment, only to reveal that behind those vacant eyes, she is rotting away in plain sight. I think that this film uh, perfectly captures the absolute horror that these patients often had to experience, not only at the hands of their trusted medical providers, but at the hands of their own family. Its surrealist and abstract nature, I think also perfectly captures how one might even feel after undergoing such an invasive procedure, and before you say anything, no, I have never had a lobotomy. But in all seriousness, I strongly encourage you guys to go and check out their other videos, and uh, as always, uh, thanks for stopping in to the Freak Show, and uh, well, until next time.